Come on. Oh, you know. Oh, he came back. I got him again. I don't think he was that big. I don't think this was the big one, but I lost a good one just there. Oh, never mind. This guy's pretty decent. Not a bad fish, just the average. Nipissing walleye, honestly. And look, they're just choking it every time. What's up, everybody? Joey here. That was absolutely horrendous. Let's redo that. What's up, everybody? Joey here. We are on Lake Nipissing. It is 2023. It is the second week of January. We've got delayed because the ice was obviously not that good up until now. Yes, you can see my hair is a little crazy. I don't got the grease in it, and that's because we just haven't been ready on them. We just haven't been able to dial in these fish. I caught a couple big ones on day one. Day two, we caught a couple fish, and then a bunch of hot operators kind of moved in on the zone and we couldn't really fi uh, fish it because they moved right on top of the holes that we were on pretty much. But, and I respect that, uh, they need to get to work and by all means, we didn't know that was a hut operator area. We just kind of rolled out when no one was on the lake. We're looking for fish. Uh, I'm just, my eyes always on the sonar. Nightfall is just about to happen. We got some rocks behind us. So stay tuned, Let's see if we can put some fish on the ice. Making a minor adjustment. A little thing started off right there you can see a dark spot so, right there 21 with boulders like crazy boulders I slid off drilled here I fished that for a bit and I saw some big marks and they're swimming around here so I, I was seeing some dead zone still felt some boulders so I just moved over here same depth but a little bit more flat bottom tell you moving around and this and that people don't get it man they don't get it it is so much work just a disaster and we're good we're set up gosh gotta get down here just tap the bottom lift up hold it don't even jig it dead stick it don't even move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Look, it's gonna come up and eat it. See? They move it, they don't eat. That one feels good. This guy feels got some hard head shakes, man. Beauty. Set them back down. It looks big. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. I got a big one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Another giant. Oh, that's a good walleye, baby. Look at that stunning walleye. Absolutely stunning. Look at their face. Like everything is so perfect on their fins and everything about them. Look at that fin. Not even a mark. See ya. Ugh, these bibs reek. Like, reek. They stank so bad. I gotta burn them. Like the amount of slime that's touched these. I think they're just glowing. In slime. There's a fella. Whoa! Smoked it! Out of nowhere. <laughs> well, welcome to my channel. Here, we like to catch fish. <laughs> Check it out. He ate that. 
he ate that though. People tell me all the time that like, hi, you know, they have teeth. How are you getting away with six pound line? And I'll tell you, it's all to do with the rod. This rod here, okay, this is a G Lumis IMX Pro Ice. Beautiful, look at that tip. See that tip? Super soft, super soft. And then I have from like pretty much here to back here of backbone that I could really pull on those fish. Um, so that six pound leader kind of acts like an eight pound leader or even maybe a 10 pound leader because there's no stress to that leader at all because the rod just takes everything. But for the most part, we're catching them. Small little jigging out. This thing is like broken. The back hook on it is just mangled. Nothing crazy. Five pound braided line to a six pound tatsu fluorocarbon leader. That is Seaguar. The jigging wrap and a minnow. Look at that. Full minnow. Ugly. Ugly. Ooh. That is big. That looks really big. That looks giant. That looks giant, whatever it is. That looks really big. That's like two feet long. What the hell is that, a Loch Ness Monster? What in the tarnation is that? Coming back, back up for it. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. It's big, it's so big. This is a giant. He's right on it. I gotta try to entice him somehow. He's right on it. Get him to come down again. Oh, this thing's huge. This is huge. This is giant. The hell is this? The signature of this fish is disgustingly big. He wants it so bad. He wants it so bad. Got him. Got him. Giant. Giant fish. Giant fish. This is a giant fish. I got him. I got his ass. Oh, big. I'm telling you, this fish is giant. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But he's coming up. Oh, he's right here. It might be another monster walleye, dude. Oh my god, it is! Monster walleye? Again! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, another 10 pounder! Oh my god! Yo, you gotta come here. I can't tell you. This is insane. Just before nightfall and absolutely cranked a giant. Check out this fish. It's touching the nose. I don't know if the light can even see it. It's almost dark. We're going 28, almost 29, 28 and a quarter. That's my PB. Fish, 28 and a quarter inches long. What a beautiful fish. We're going to get this back in the water. I need to make sure I get a release of this fish proper using a right camera. Look at this fish. 
absolute beautiful. We're gonna let it go. There it goes with the kick. Let's go. That just happened. That just happened again. I don't like this thing. What is going on? I knew it. I knew they were all giants. I was marking them before and I couldn't, I couldn't catch them because I was on too much boulder. And I just pushed out like literally 10 feet past that boulder. And sure enough, they ate. Oh my gosh, that goes to show you guys. Like honestly, I can't tell you enough. Minor adjustments. Literally minor adjustments. And look, you literally can catch. Oh my gosh. Let's go. What's up everybody? Just wanna do a little tackle rundown. A uh, little quick tackle tip, trick, whatever you wanna call it. Cause you're on late nipsing. You're not really catching a lot of big, big fish, I would say. Your average is between 16 to 20 inches a lot of the time. 20 inches is a great fish, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the time you're catching between that slot size, which is 40 to 45 centimeters. And that's like, I think it's 16 to almost eight, just under 18, 17 inch, call it. So 16 to 17 inch, it's an IMX Pro Ice. It's got enough backbones, a 31 inch light. Um, you know, a lot of people might say it's that's too light for whatever, but I catch a lot of fish on this rod simply because we're running small hooks. Like you're looking at tiny, tiny jigs, tiny hooks on these jigs. And you don't wanna run a rod that's too stiff because you're just gonna pull that hook out of its mouth. Lighter jig, lighter line, lighter rod, smaller reel. This is a 2000 series Altegra, Shimano Altegra. This reel right here is a smaller version of a 2500. It's literally just a tad smaller than it. And it's perfect. I got it paired up with five pound power pro braid, six pound leader, and you're catching fish. But we're using just a jig wrap, full middle on the bottom. Okay, it was just an ugly rig, but it was getting a lot of bites. So simple as that. Hopefully I didn't rant too long. I tried to do it as quick as I can because I know a lot of you don't like to sit through this, but some of you do. So leave it in the comments, see what you like. Should I throw in more tips and more tricks like this midway through the video and then get back to the fishing or just stick it to catching and just showing you all the, all the catches. Let me know what you want to see uh, because all my videos are based off of what you guys want to see and what you enjoy watching. So please leave a comment below, like the video. Hopefully you're subscribed because uh, I got a lot more coming this winter. And if you want to see my adventures, and follow along because we got some awesome things coming. So stay fishy, stay frosty, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Well, you don't want me to catch you. I'm gonna catch the fish, but yeah, you get the point. We'll catch you on the next one.